Good morning. My name is Barb Malera. I'm a member of the team at Harvesting History, an heirloom horticultural company. Today we're going to be talking about an incredible plant known as Iris reticulata harmony. I make a big point out of the reticulata term because that means that these irises belong to a class of iris that is that produces very short plants. The entire plant is no taller than this. However, two-thirds of this height is the blossom itself. So these tiny plants produce huge blossoms and they look just like irises. The iris reticulatas are an extremely important flower to our pollinators because in many areas they rival or beat out the snowdrops. They are that early when it comes to blooming. And at that time of the year, there are very few things out that can nourish the pollinators. Well, iris reticulatas can definitely nourish pollinators. I've counted as many as six to eight bees on a single blossom in the early spring when there were no snowdrops to go take a drink of. So, Think of them as a great gift to the pollinators and for yourself as responsible gardeners, a wonderful way to help the pollinators in early spring. Harmony is a dark, dark blue, almost to purple iris reticulata and is quite vigorous. It is hardy from zones four to zones nine. It should be planted at a depth of about six inches and no further apart than six inches bulb to bulb. If you want a presence in your garden, you really need to plant about 10 of these bulbs. Ah, listen to the music of the truck brakes. Doesn't it just warm your heart? So anyhow, <clears throat> Those are the benefits of doing what we call organic videotaping, not in a studio, out in the wilds of the backyard. So, anyhow, back to Iris reticulatas. This Iris reticulata, we have done a little video essay on, and we hope you will enjoy it. I love the bulbs of spring, but of all the bulbs, my favorite are clearly the Iris reticulatas. Known as rock garden irises, because they take up very little space and they are also very, very short. They never reach a height of greater than six inches. They were discovered in the Caucasus and the areas of the Middle East and brought first to Europe in 1575. They then, in the early 1600s, made their way to the United States. This is Iris reticulata harmony, the darkest of the Iris reticulatas. Iris reticulatas are very, very important because they are one of the earliest of the blo spring blooming bulbs and the pollinators love them because there's little nourishment to be found elsewhere. This is Iris reticulata harmony the deer do not like it. It is quite deer resistant. Here's a lovely cr close up of that sweet flower. Remember, it feeds the bees. We hope you enjoyed the little video essay on Iris reticulata harmony. There are four things I want you to remember from this video. First and foremost is this is a wonderful and essential plant for pollinators. Think of it as an essential worker in the pollinator world. Secondly, this plant is deer resistant. Deer resistant. Third, it is hardy from zones four to zones nine, should be planted at a depth of about six inches and should be separated bulb to bulb by no more than six inches. 
And finally, if you really want a presence in the garden, you need about 10 of these. You can purchase this bulb at our website, www.harvesting-history.com. So think of it not as quenching your thirst for beauty, but quenching a pollinator's thirst for food.